hello all welcome again and uh, in this video we are going to show you the demo of e-learning portal and which is developed into JSP and Servlet so if I talk about in detail about the technology uh, that we are using in this project this is the JSP that uh, we are using here for the front end and uh, with JSP, we are like inside the JSP, we are using some HTML tags, uh, like uh, CSS is there, bootstrap libraries are there. This is for the UI part. To manage the server side, it's using servlets, and uh, to manage the backend, it's using MySQL database. And to operate the MySQL, we are using MySQL Workbench application. And here is the database for this, and this contains five tables. Okay, uh, we'll come on this in a bit. Uh, before that, it's using MBC architecture and to manage the dependency, it's using POM, uh, like Maven tool. <coughs> so, uh, let's run the code. Uh, to deploy the code, we are using Tomcat server, Tomcat version 8.5. So, if I want to run the project, I just right click on the project, run as, run on server, select my server and click on finish. Automatically, it will run on my browser and now this is will be your welcome page and the welcome page we have two pages like about us home and sign up and login so uh, there are multiple users in the application like uh, students faculty and the other users so <clears throat> i'm going to show you all the functionality of uh, all the users one by one so if i hit the sign up button uh, I got the option to sign up as a student, as a faculty, as a facilitator and uh, same function for the um, uh, login option. Okay, uh, now if I view to the database, I move to the database and I view the user table, I can see there are uh, three role ID if you can see. The first always will be one as an admin and second will be as a uh, faculty I guess and third will be for the student so let's log in as a one by one and check the functionality what they can do so for the user I have for the admin user I have this admin login so I just click on the option click on the password so when I hit the sign in button I can see some options are there view course in a new course so as an admin what can I do here I can view the existing courses that are available listed in the database I can add a new courses let's say I insert Java Java C and I enter some description about the course and now the course will be listed in my list uh, you can view it more I will uh, tell you in a while so other option for admin we have a add topic so let's say for under java c i want to add a topic so this is the topic name so let's say i enter topic one and demo this is for demo and here i need to upload the material like uh, videos or uh, audios so if, let me check if i have some pdf in my system Okay, requirements. Okay, let's say I'm gonna upload this PDF and for demo I'm gonna use some video. Okay, I'm going to use this dummy video and I click on the add option. <clears throat> the data is the topic is added successfully now. Now this is the option from the admin side so admin can add a subject admin can a course admin can add topics under the subject and admin can update his profile admin can log out now let's log in the other other user so i just go to home click on the login button and i log in as an faculty for the second time so i'm going to use this login id and and this password here 
so what i can do as a faculty i can view the query of the students and a student will uh, like uh, the, these queries are answered uh, once if any student will ask any query about the course that a student will uh, will get the data and uh, like that uh, faculty will get the questions and they can answer under the view section we have a dashboard so i can check the dashboard for uh, the course i can search the course as a faculty and here i have a discussion forum so these queries are resolved now uh, let's log in as an, a student and then we'll come to the faculty okay so i'm going to log in as in this student and this password I'm going to use this password so this student does not have any uh, courses yet so uh, let me log in again as a faculty and then we'll come to here I think we need to uh, Uh, we need to assign some courses to that particular student and let's say I logged in here and view courses I just go to course dashboard like we have this courses I just go to on that course that data is deleted this far there was an error and let's see I go to dashboard I go to course search okay here that newly added courses is there I'm going to just enroll to new user or new student so here I can see the complete uh, like the data that I have uploaded the video tutorials I have uploaded the video and if I go to discuss forum I can raise a query as a student so let's say uh, this is what is Java when I hit the submit button the query is raised and and this is the dummy uh, performance view so it's not a uh, original now if I go to there and I register as a new or uh, let, let's say I register as a new student so I can register as a new student as well and I can check the detail let's say first name demo uh, demo q user and demo at the rate gmail.com the password demo at the rate 123 again need to enter the password click on the submit button data is submitted successfully now if I review the user table uh, you can see the student is registered with role ID 2 so 3 will be for the faculty only okay so now uh, let's log in as by that student and I'm going to log in as a student and I enter this ID and the password here so currently I do not have any course so I can directly go to view and I can search course and I can enroll in any courses like I enrolled in this courses I just go to the courses and I can start the learning now in case I have any query I can uh, go to discuss question and uh, I can raise a query from here again I raised a query for this course or let's say for Java C course and submit this query will be go to the faculty so when faculty will log in they can answer their students question so let's log in as a facilitator or faculty so i guess faculty also can answer so here we have a role id 3 for a faculty so i'm gonna log in with this user now okay here I can see as a faculty I can view the courses now if you can see these two queries is answered but these two are not answered so I can click on answer and 
I can Java is a oops and click on submit the query is resolved now and will update the status so if I go back and if I view the queries that query is answered okay so that's it uh, from the e-learning site so this is a complete project in case you need the source code you can check the description box uh, link you just need uh, navigate to that link and you can check all the details over there you can contact us over the mail skype or whatsapp as we have a remote support so don't worry about the project setup and all at your machine so we have complete team to that going to help you to run the project at your machine also we have developers that's going to explain you complete flow and uh, complete things about the application or internal flow so you can uh, take it and you can choose from there any plan and you can select it thank you